Geekout! Woo! I'm doing that, Spaniard. Yes, yes. It's good to project, right? It's always good to uh, do the old yell, do the old chant, as we know it's a good geek out community yell. Oh, uh, thank you everyone uh, for listening to a another episode of our geek out podcast. My name is Spaniard, also known as Eddie, and with me as always, toss her your coins, people. Because here she is for season three. Tres. I don't know what it is in Chinese, but Tuka. Tisa. <laughs> Bobisa. Hello, everyone. Welcome to season three of the Geek Out podcast. We have a lot of changes coming your way and some really cool announcements we kind of teased earlier. But this episode's going to be fun. We wanted to do like a special episode because we're bursting out into season three and it's our very first episode of the season so um first of all i hope everyone had an amazing christmas i know mine was pretty awesome and thanksgiving and new year's i mean you know a lot of people don't have new year's resolutions anymore and i find that very sad i like to at least do a few every year even if i don't stick to them i like to say it out loud and say i'm going to do this and sometimes i do it and most of the time i don't so Without further ado, let's roll right into this episode, shall we? Shall we? Yes, yes. Let's uh, let, let's let's do this. Let's do this. So, well, before we begin, what's your uh, what's your New Year's resolution? Okay, New Year's resolution. Don't laugh. I actually want to start doing yoga. Yoga. Yeah, like. Okay. Yeah, like a yoga mat and the poses and slow breathing and all that stuff for like stress and it's also good for your body and toning all that kind of stuff because obvious reasons i can't do cardio and all that shit so i figured this is a good way to tone up without all the strenuous exercise you know what i mean have you started yet yes i have actually okay i go on i just go on youtube and i pull up like yoga for beginners and i just do like a quick little five minute video in the morning when i wake up okay all right yeah. yoga all right, that sounds. Uh, I mean, I like yoga, so. And you know, but I've never done it before. I mean, I did it once with my friend when I was in Orlando, and it was really uncomfortable, but I liked it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a really weird, conflicted feeling. Um, so yeah, it just uh, it it really balances me mentally, which I thought was a bunch of fucking bullshit, but uh, it really does work. So I like it, and that's something that I started. Um, also, just eating better. You know, I'm going back to school next Monday. Oh, my God. I don't. I'm not ready. She wasn't ready. I'm not, not ready. But uh, one of my goals this year is to get Dean's List at least for one semester. I want to do it all year, but just a tangible goal one semester at a time. I'm just going to go for one semester of Dean's List and see from there because I royally fucked myself last semester. Uh, Oof. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do better this time. I I feel it. I feel it in my bones, Spaniard. Hey, I'm gonna get straight A's. Hey. You know straight I mean? A's. Hey, hey, that's it's no easy task. Trust me, I it's know. Not. But it's so worth it. So worth it. Yep. Sweet, sweet. I also have one. It's not really a goal. It's just kind of something I want for myself. I want to get my uh, tattoo that I've been saving for for like three years. <gasps> two, two years. Two years. Yeah, it, it's it's been a long time, and just every time I have like an extra ten dollars, I throw it in a jar, like I'm twelve years old with allowance money, and I just it accumulates over time. And I think I have a decent amount of money right now to put at least like most towards this big tattoo that I want. So I'm excited. Okay, that's uh, that's, yep. that's cool. Getting that this year too. So Sweet how about you? I know you're not really big on New Year's resolutions and all that kind of stuff, but like. Do you have I'm anything not. you'd like to accomplish this year that maybe you didn't get to last year? Maybe some changes you want to make? Yes, I'm so glad you asked. So, <laughs> I make this so awkward. Uh, probably why my uh, first dates didn't go so well. Anyways, um, so, uh, yeah, I'm not really huge on New Year's resolutions. I'm always big about learning from the previous year and doing better right. from that. 
Um, but goals, definitely 100%. Um, definitely want to get a house. That is happening no matter what. Don't know yet what time of the year that's going to happen. But, um, you know, Ev and I have been, you know, uh, working really hard and thinking about our options and our choices about where we want to go. And, um, you know, we've been we've been both, uh, you know, working really hard getting I've been working crazy over time. And, you know, I'm just kind of ready for that that next big step would like a new home. Um, but it will be OK if we go to an older home. Uh, but that's that's definitely a hundred percent a goal because we thought it was gonna happen uh, towards the end of last year and it didn't. Um, another thing, it's more personal, but I feel like a lot of people already know that, especially people who live in podcasts. You know, I, uh, you know, I've always uh, for the longest time, I've always wanted uh, kids. You know, and obviously I've met the most perfect person that that can happen with so crossing fingers that something amazing can happen uh this year for us so that way i can have a nerdy child and you know like not let anyone hold them ever <laughs> oh, uh, come on so. you know you're gonna let me hold your baby it'll take a while it'll take a while no. i have a lot of uh i have a lot of things where i you know when you do that so um what area are we looking at cora uh yeah well more most likely around this area like uh you know the tampa and new tampa ish area kind of um but honestly our choices have brought in just because of the fact that we're just ready so um w i don't know how far we're willing to go but uh, mm -hmm. we've definitely expanded as far as our choices so but as of right now uh the new tampa ish area so thank you send send all your baby yoda vibes to me cora um, but more so, probably more for, like, my own kind of thing, I guess, would be a New Year's resolution. Uh, I did change my diet. Uh, the reason I did this is because uh, I noticed that um, uh, even when I was working out and even when I was doing, like, the cardio and I just started soccer up again and everything like that, that um, I would still – I was having the hardest time sleeping. And I know it's because I would eat really late, right? Because I, I work pretty late. I work sometimes until 10 p.m., if not 8 o'clock, somewhere around that area. And obviously, I've been working overtime. So I sacrificed to change my diet so that way I could, you know, uh, eat earlier and still be full um, and be a little healthier. And it's been working. I've been sleeping solidly. It's been really good. Uh, I feel a lot better. I look a lot better. And what I mean by that is, like, when I wake up in the morning, I don't look like a, uh, you know, like a zombie. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, yeah. But uh, so <laughs> far, it's really hard. I will say that because I'm not really a diet person. I've always been like, okay, I'm going to work out or I'm going to do cardio and then that's it. But I know diet is a big part. Um, so it's been hard. But I've been liking it so far just because of the way I've been feeling as far as sleep and looks. Um, but, yeah, besides that, I am so stoked uh, for 2020, more so for video games than anything else of this list that we're going to be talking about. Oh my god, uh, wait! What? I forgot. I forgot about one of my goals. Okay. Oh so shit. When you said video games, it reminded me. One of my goals is to, um, if not make, part in Twitch, there's two, I can't talk, Jesus Christ. Huh? Uh, there's two different levels you, you get on Twitch. Like one of them is when you get that subscribe button, which I'm a nobody, so I don't even have that. Um, so I want to get uh, partnered with Twitch by the end of 2020, somehow. Okay, some way. definitely doable. Definitely yes. doable. I just have to con concentrate on streaming and get better at uh, reading chat and responding to chat because oh, it's so annoying. When you play video games, you just want to play, right? But you're streaming, so you have to be entertaining and you have to con have a conversation with people and like acknowledge when they're talking to you. And it's really difficult because <laughs> I'm just so zoned in, you know, in my own headspace playing video games that I don't think to look at the chat. And then 20 minutes later, I'm like, oh, hi, so and so. And then they're already gone. So yeah, I gotta, I gotta work at that. But that's, that's another one of my goals. But yes, okay. I'm excited about this list too, because it's really cool. So I'll let you go ahead and take the helm on that one. Cause All right. Sweet. Time. All right. I'm so stoked. All right. Oh yeah, Vanessa, we, we will, we will be diet tears together. Okay. Like we'll, we'll feed off of each other. If I see you reaching for a dominant, <laughs> I'll just smack your hand and be like, no, no. And then when I reach for the gummy worms, which is really hard to take away from you, you just, you just smack the shit out of me and you say no. And then we'll, we'll be good to go. All right, guys. So, 
Uh, we're in 2020. What does that mean? Exactly. That means that we survived a decade. And a decade is a long ass time. You think about it, right? You think about 10 years of things that happen. And for us nerds, right? Uh, the biggest things that we talk about here on the podcast, movies, TV shows, games, uh, anime. Um, I thought it'd be cool to talk about this past decade on what we feel are our favorite or the best, in our opinions, uh, of these topics of the decade. So I thought it'd be really cool. Please chime in as we go through because I'd love to hear yours. Maybe some are not on the list. You already know Tiso Babisa and I's tastes. Uh, so I just thought this would be interesting. And obviously, obviously, Tisa Babisa and I are so different that I do not expect our list to match at all, especially since, well, you know, she's uh, she's going to be playing catch-up. <laughs> so, uh, what do you want to start with first? Um, Let's do movies first. Movies? Okay. All right, all right, all right. So... <laughs> Um, this was actually easier than I thought it was going to be. And I'm a huge movie buff. Everyone knows that. Um, you know, I love doing movie reviews. I love watching movies. I'm always watching movies, what have you. But I thought with 10 years of movies that this would be a harder choice for me, um, with all the movies. But I, like, revisited every movie that I've ever, like, watched and went through the years and stuff like that. What were the best ones, you know, because I kind of forgot on some years. I'm like, what came out? Did this come out before 2010? I can't remember. So I had to look up some stuff like Avatar. I swear to God, I've seen Avatar in this decade, which I have, but it didn't come out in this decade. So I didn't add it to my list. Um, okay. So for me, the best movie of the decade, which also happens to be my favorite movie of the decade, is Logan. So I know that's really? super biased. I know. I know. Dude, You're going to say. so biased. It is. It is. Really? It is. But let me explain. Let me okay, explain. You okay. Better, All right. I don't know about that. Okay. So let me explain. The When, when X-Men first came out, okay, I was so stoked. The live action, right? Hugh Jackman wasn't buff. Um, they found the perfect uh, Professor Xavier. Uh, the team was really good. And the, the story was just, you know, just, just so simple. That for comic nerds like ourselves, it was just perfect. Ever since then, seeing Hugh Jackman evolve with the character, who just happens to be my favorite, you know, I guess like superhero or comic book character, right? Um, like evolve and become like well known. It wasn't just a role for him. It was an actual portrayal of what the Wolverine should be. Now, when Logan came out, like knowing that it was the end, it was by far one of the best like gifts to comic book fans, Wolverine fans, and just a, a determination of the character himself, Logan, of what it's meant to be. The reason I love this movie so much and why I felt like it was the best is because the dedication that went into this movie is hardly seen this time because there's so many reboots. There's so many remakes. We've seen so many new Batmans, so many fucking Spider-Mans, so many new, you know, same movies, but with just different titles of names, right? And it's it was such such a unique experience just to see, like, how much dedication went into this film alone to not only do a send-off for Hugh Jackman is in his amazing performance as Wolverine, but to comic book fans, to make it rated R, to show the true brutality of Wolverine, to not hold back on anything, to give us the movie we wanted. I absolutely love that. And looking back at all the movies that I really enjoy, that I've watched multiple and multiple times over and over again, this was my favorite. I will say I am going to give some honorable mentions because I know people are probably curious what else that I had in my list um, well, I that I was going to go through. Go through. Bit, okay. Yeah, so I'm, I'm just going to name them and then that's it and then we'll, you'll go. So my other okay. ones that I had were Inception, Oh, uh, that was I. Okay, I have another. I have a Leo DiCaprio on my list too. But okay. It's not Inception. Go ahead. Okay, I had uh, the Revenant of Leo, okay. and okay. I had Interstellar, and okay. I had The Martian. So those those are the ones okay. that I really really enjoyed. I've watched multiple times because I'm big on cinematography. 
Uh, so yeah, Logan. Logan's the one that beat them all for for me. Okay. Um, well, <clears throat> my favorite. It came out in 2014, and it's John Wick. John Wick. Okay. John Wick. That movie was my favorite. Um, honorable mentions. Um, I would say probably uh, Wolf on Wall Street. That's definitely one. It's a five. solid movie. Yep. I love Wolf on Wall Street. That's my Leo. That's my Leo movie I was telling you about earlier. Okay. Um, and I, I have to say a Disney movie at the very least. Like I think Frozen or something, Moana, one of those. Uh, just I love Disney. So, mm-hmm. you know, great movie. Um, so, yeah, the, for me, it's, it's, uh, it's John Wick. But I have to throw in It Chapter 1 and 2, too. Oh, okay. Yes, those yes. Those are really good. But those were newer movies. I was trying to reach back, like, over the whole decade. And it's okay if they're newer. Like, like, the most recent ones. Yeah. Yeah, it's still, um, it's still part of the decade. But, yeah, I would say It Chapter 1 and 2. John Wick is my number one. And, uh... What is the other one I said? Wolf on Wall Street. Wolf on Wall like Street. Frozen and Moana. Okay. For Disney. Okay. So, Definitely. Yeah, uh, are... That's a solid list. That's a solid list for sure. Yeah. I mean, considering uh, none of them were superhero movies or Star Wars, um, because we had a we had a ton. <laughs> let's face it. We had a ton we did. of Marvel and Star Wars movies that came out the, over the decade. But um, yeah, it's, it's just. It amazes me that both neither one of us picks that. Well, here's that the that? thing. Uh, Rogue One was on my list, but I'll be completely honest. I love Rogue One. But for me, it was just a fun movie to watch. It wasn't something... For me, movies are much more than just something cool to watch. It like has to like speak to me, you know? Uh, mm-hmm. Same thing with games, because I'm big into storytelling. I'm very big into cinematography, and I'm very big into acting. And for Rogue One, it was a cool movie, but it wasn't all of those things. And, and score, but score was really good for the Rogue One. Um, whereas that's why that's why if you with my list, they're all like that. You're probably thinking, oh well, you know, they were good movies, but they weren't like you know huge or anything like that. But like Inception is just one of those movies where I just fell in love with because it, it was so different. The score is amazing. The acting is so on point, and it's just so like you literally have to watch it three or four times just to understand it and by the fourth time you're happy that you watched it just because of how good it is same thing for me with logan and interstellar and martian so uh but those are good that's a that's a rogue pretty one for star wars for you huh yeah i would say rogue one was my favorite star star wars movie of the decade so same uh, yes marvel actually i really enjoyed into the spider verse that was really cute Ooh, I liked... yes um i liked uh Fuck, not Endgame, the one before it. Infinity uh, War. Yeah, Infinity War. That, yep. That's, that's got to be probably just so many... Uh, it, it, uh. it was just so good. <laughs> yeah, it, it was one of those movies, like, when you come out with mad respect for the villain and you kind of liked it, but you but you but your heart is broken because you're sad and you got all these emotions, I mean... That's how you know it was a good film, when you re- when you love every single character, including the villain. Like that, that's good storytelling. So, uh, yeah, I think Infinity War definitely deserves to be on the list at, at the very least. Maybe not on the top, but on gotcha. There. Okay, all right, solid, solid picks. Uh, see, Phil here, uh, Logan was great for the R rating. Yep, definitely, definitely can never go wrong with Keanu Reeves. That's true. That's true. Amen, and brother. fun fact, fun fact. Uh, mm-hmm. both the Matrix, the new Matrix, and John Wick 4. They're coming out on the same day. The same day, people. The first, right? Yes, the same day. Which one, I'm really quick, before you, we move I'm... on to the next one, wh- what do you think is going to outsell? Uh, prob- I'm, I'm saying uh, Matrix right now. Me too. Gonna Me too. Yeah, yeah definitely. I, I, yeah. Um... And I'm going to go see both. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, we've got the weekend. You see one Saturday, one Sunday. Easy. Done. Done deal. Yep. 
So. Good, good stuff. Good stuff. All right. Uh, well, since we did movies, let's move on to TV shows. That way we see save the games and the anime for last. TV shows. All right. I I have a feeling you are going to be shocked, just like you were with movies, of my um, TV show of the decade. Okay. So I think I'll, I'm going to do this a reverse way, and I'm going to say what my honorable mentions were, and then I'm going to say what my favorite was. I think that would be better if I did it that way. All so right. honorable mentions for me, uh, which then I realized how little TV I watch. This is the kind of thing because I like dramas, but I also like different stuff. Um, so I started watching a million little things with my wife uh, last year, and it was a it's a phenomenal series. I love it. There's so much like realism to it that I really really like that. Uh, the boys from Amazon, Dude, absolutely yeah. love it. It's so good. Vikings, oh. Yeah vikings is one of those shows that when you watch so it amazing. you just can't stop and unfortunately i watched it in a time where it came out once a week so it was just oh it was just heartbreaking but so good so depth such rich characters so much like just just turmoil and death it's just so 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 good so so good um stranger things stranger yeah. things is it, it just it just fits it's really good absolutely love the series the acting is amazing but but my favorite tv show of the decade is downton abbey and here's why what yes downton abbey <laughs> is my favorite <laughs> show of the decade okay i know i know a lot of people will will freaking laugh hey sharon how are you nice to uh Hi, nice Mom. to see you there hey, uh Lisa. season one of westworld oh phil that's a good one too westworld is a really good vanessa said you i just started watching you it's pretty creepy it's i like the second season more vanessa we'll have to chat about that uh but downton abbey here's the reason why when i first started watching this series i was just like so engulfed and in how rich the characters were so it already hooked me in because at first i was like i'm gonna watch the first season because a friend told me it was super good and then we were watching it together for a while and then we stopped and then i stopped hanging out with her and i'm like okay i'll probably start watching it again so i watched season two and i was like hooked and then of course eva came along okay it was like here we'll watch the first season if you don't like it you know, we don't have to go through, but I really like this series. And she fell in love with it, too. I'm like, okay, cool. So we watched it together. Anyways, uh, the reason I love this this series is because it's so character in-depth. They are not afraid to kill off characters. They're not afraid to do twists to characters that you like, make them evil uh, when you thought they were good, make good characters become bad, uh, vice versa, um, you know all this all this turmoil and then there's death and there's war and there's love it was just there's so much going on in the series that you think it's very hard to follow if you were to explain it to somebody but in the end the characters are so well worth the journey it's one of the most captivating series i have ever watched and trust me if this didn't come out in this decade it would have been a harder choice for me because i liked all the other options that i had said before um, but especially when I watched the movie, I was so afraid that the movie was not going to be good because of how much I love the series. But in that theater, it was completely full. Fans of the series, absolutely, from ages from young to old, and everyone stood up and clapped at the end of the movie. And that's just to show how well that movie was done, but how well the characters are, you know, too. So yeah, Downton Abbey is my favorite series of the decade. Mm, wow yeah. i know i, I told you that. i know i know i was not expecting that okay well since you took like half my fucking list uh, <laughs> you know vikings is what i'm watching right now Ooh. Love it. i think i'm on season two with josh i've watched up to season five though Ooh. um love vikings yes it's full of action the yes. characters are fucking epic like every single character is so epic like yes badass like i know whenever they do those slow shots of like the vikings just going to pillage of town and they're just walking up with their axes and their shields i get the fucking chills every time it is so amazing i love it uh yeah stranger things obviously is up there 
Um, love all those shows that you named. Great picks. Um, uh, you left a couple of them off for me. I liked, um, cause I watch a lot of TV and I would say definitely for me, uh, so many, the boys, you said the boys, right? Yes. Yes. Fucking love that. Oh, um, so good. Yeah. So good. It is so good. I, I, it's on Amazon prime. So I, I'm trying to get maybe my people to watch that one because they're they're looking for stuff to watch but um over the decade i would say stuff that really captivated me up to a certain point uh probably orange is the new black um i really liked uh the vampire diaries and the originals when they were on i really enjoyed um fucking a game of thrones that's that's probably my number one like game of thrones okay yeah that's probably like my number one in game of thrones because if you're willing to dismember a fucking social media platform because someone spoiled an episode for you, then then yeah, that that's probably the the, the number one show right there. Um, I I liked Orange Is the New Black. I liked um, Game of Thrones. I really liked the vampire shows when they were out. Um, what else? There's a bunch of them. Um, God, there's so much TV. We're not doing anime, right? That's we we, we are we are, but uh, okay. but not for the TV show. We're doing okay. it. We have a right. separate thing for anime. Okay. Yes. Um, okay. Uh, American Horror Story. That that one had my attention for a while. That's a good really one. That one. Did mm-hmm. I say Walking Dead? Because that one's definitely one of my favorites too. Oh no, you didn't. But I I see. I, I know see you why. don't like that one. Yeah. Um, and then a little show that came out a while ago. I'm not sure if it was the decade, but I think it was a little show called Spartacus. Spartacus. I really enjoyed that one. It was about like gladiators and shit like that, and lots of fighting. And that was a really cool show for me too. Um, yeah, I don't even know if it's streaming on anything, but I I loved that show a lot. Um, Okay, so so I'm gonna save the rest of the stuff for anime, I guess, because I I had like three animes, but that's for a separate section. So, um, did you watch Breaking Bad at all? Yes, of course, but it wasn't in okay. this decade. If it not, honestly, honestly, if it was, I would have picked it a hundred percent. Okay, yeah, because I really liked that show too. I thought it was in this decade, but I guess not. Mm-mm. Is it really that old shit? Yeah, I would have to see the. Let me see. When actually it came out. 2008. Yeah, really <clears throat> yeah 2008. I thought it was 2009. The Office! Uh, Phil, The Office came out in 2005, dude. We were in high school, <laughs> man. <laughs> let, him, let him have his moment. <laughs> Your mom said The Mandalorian. How cute. Aw. Yeah. My sister's, like, basic. <laughs> yeah. That was your mom who said that. No, Vanessa called my mom basic. Oh. Oh, that. wow. Basic. Oh. <laughs> Wow, Jesus Christ. Well, all right. All right, so let's... Uh, yeah, Mandalorian is a good show, though. I agree, Mom. Yeah, it is, it is good. It is good. But I didn't put it just because, you know, it's it's only the first season. I really enjoyed it, but it wasn't, like, you know, a decade's worth of stuff. So, yeah. Uh, but all right, all right, cool. Well, since, since you're up for the anime, why don't you just go ahead and just run us through the anime, and then we'll finish off with... Um, video games? W- with the video games, yeah, because I have a huge list of video games. Okay, so for me, my favorite anime that I watched was probably, so far, uh, the, um, oh god, uh, the Attack on Titan, and then okay. My, Hero, My Hero Academia is like a close second. Like, those two were my favorite animes, um, nice, and they're fairly nice. new, so I really love Death Note, fucking love Death Note. Um, what's the other one that we watched? Uh, Akame Ga Kill was good. Um, oh yeah, that was a good one. That was a really good one. Mm-hmm. Um, I can't think of any more. What about you? <laughs> so yours was uh, Attack on Titan. That was your favorite. Yes. Okay, okay, okay. So uh, for me, um, I just started watching this one literally like last week. Uh, Demon Slayer. Uh, I've I've oh, heard so. My so many people are talking about this and then one of the streamers that i watch she was talking about it. i'm like you know what uh let me let me do that and i hate i hate starting 
a new anime when I'm just getting into a brand new one. I'm okay if I'm like two seasons into one. Because then mm-hmm. I feel like, okay, I got the grass of the carrots is good. Because I'm just, I just started the, um, that one time I was reincarnated as a slime creature. Uh, mm-hmm. And it, it's really good. That one's on my list as well. Uh, oh but my I'm like, god! I forgot about Sword Art Online. <gasps> well, that was, that's one of mine too. I love okay, Sword Art ahead. Online. Good. So, um, yes. So list. Demon Slayer, I've only watched four episodes and it is so good. <laughs> Like I was not expecting this this type of anime, and it is it's so fucking good. It's it's really good. It was either that's this... what everybody keeps telling me, especially yes. my friend Doorman at work. He's like, dude, have you seen Demon Slayer? Have you seen Demon Slayer? He's like, let me know when you get to episode nine. It's so good. It's probably what I'm gonna be yeah. doing after the podcast is uh, watching some Demon Slayer. Um, I really like uh, Konosuba um it's a really really uh japanese uh, anime it's so good it's like this kid who gets um he dies and then he gets thrown into like an actual like gaming world where there's levels and stuff like that uh Sounds it's really like good sword art. yeah pretty much um it's a little more like uh it, there's a little more magic than sort of sort of online is more like weapons and stuff like that so yeah. uh okay. seven deadly sins absolutely love overlord was, yeah. was yep. one of my all-time favorites uh uh i love like uh, yeah one? Hell yeah tokyo ghoul is is up there um one punch man one punch man is in there uh and then here we are so this was tough for me. This was tough for me because I oh, love... Oh, you're doing your favorite right now, right? Right, yeah. I love both okay. of these series. But um, the one that just fell short for me was My Hero Academia. Um, uh, yeah. I love this, this show. It has everything that I could ever hope and want from an anime. I absolutely love it. But the Fate Zero series, okay? There's been about three in this decade are just... God, they're just so fucking good. I just love the concept of summoning, uh, like, these creatures that are actual, like, humanoids and stuff like that that have their names or what their class are. So there's Saber, there's uh, Archer, there's uh, Berserker, and it is just amazing. It's like Pokemon, you know, like, where you get to summon with a master, but with these actual, like, legendary, uh, you know, uh, mythical creatures. And it's so good. And the best part is, if you have a fucking amazing sound system, oh, the sound that the sound effects alone that they do in this anime are by far the best you will ever hear. It makes your house shake. The action is that good. It's so nice. fucking good. I love it. Every time there's a fight, I even pump up the volume even more uh it's so good so yeah the fate zero series uh mm. definitely is 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 my favorite sweet all right well we got a good anime list going yes yes i had yeah, a, i think that's good i had a huge one so we gotta Let's go into the, to games. the, the, the games Ooh, the this games of the decade right now right here and we want your input too so if you have a game that you absolutely love Please throw it in the comments so we can see it. Because I, I definitely am curious to see whatever the people think. Yes. Because let's face it, there's always some really good games that come out every single year. So to narrow it down to just a few is so damn hard. So hard. Um, so I'm going to let you go ahead and start this one off. Okay. All right. Well, I can't. I don't feel like I should do all of my odd because it's a huge fucking list. So I'll just do a few of the what? ones Why that not? I... Don't okay all right all right all right all right so uh let's start let's start from let's start from you know way back in the golden age as they say uh portal 2 i absolutely love the original portal when portal 2 came out found out about co-op and the different puzzles and stuff like that i was just like i remember portal 2 you were fucking oh god i i it was one of the first games i ever 100 percent um and i just i I love that i did it was one of those like feel good moments when i did it um so that was really good uh final fantasy 14 which is the mmo uh a realm reborn for final fantasy fans uh the the only (laughs) the only uh mmo that i ever played more than a month of uh i spent i think like six months straight and uh, a good portion of that was actually with josh uh, because I they, it. I was gonna say, did you play with Josh? Yes, 
I <laughs> love, love, love that. And I, I'm always afraid when they come out with new stuff that I'm going to get into it because it's something that you have to sink so much time into. And and I don't oh, mind yeah. that. It's just the fact that I just don't have the time right now. Maybe in the future mm-hmm. um, I will. Um, but yeah, Final Fantasy, Realm Reborn. Final Fantasy 15 that came out was absolutely amazing. I love Final Fantasy, so that's a given. Metal Gear Solid Five. Yeah. Holy shit. I could go about a good three hours talking about this game. Um, please don't, please. <laughs> I absolutely <laughs> love it. I'm going to steal one that I know is on your list, Witcher 3. Uh, can't deny CD Projekt Red. That game from beginning to end is just fucking phenomenal. Wait, which one? Witcher 3. Oh, that's on my list. Yes. Yep. Yes. Witcher 3. Uh, Super Mario Odyssey. This one... This one is one of those that I will always remember because my wife and I, this game is a single player game, but my wife and I played it together. Every time we finished a puzzle or we had a death or something of that nature, we switched, um, you know, the controller, we took turns and it was just a fun fucking experience. I remember <clears throat> when my wife and I, we were in the apartment, we just sat on our couch and we played this for hours and hours and hours hours and just like and i would just be like oh you know like oh i'm gonna go get some groceries or i'm gonna go take a shower and then i come back and she's just like going ham she's like i got a hundred percent it you know she got really into it so super mario odyssey was a big one for me uh it's a big game that my wife and i got to play together and i love those types of games um, where we can share those types of moment hollow knight one of my all-time favorite games amazing amazing platforming game it's so fucking good uh, the Last of Us. I can't wait for The Last yeah, of Us too. My fucking game. You said to list them all. This is your fucking I know, fault. I know. Okay, okay, uh, okay, okay. Uh, God of War. Fucking, I'm actually replaying that right now. It's so goddamn good. Uh, Mass Effect Two. Oh my god, Mass Effect Two. Let me tell you, Mass Effect Two. That's that's brilliant storytelling the fact that you were able to choose um your different paths of your story make what your character want to look like uh choose who you wanted to lay with and not lay with hint hint wink wink uh you know it was was good shit but but i could go on but i know it's going to take forever so uh i have to say no 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 this is it this is the big one this is my game this is your favorite this okay. is my favorite game of the decade. It is. Drum roll, please. <laughs> Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. I knew it. I knew it. Because I know you have almost a thousand hours on that game. I have 1,000 hours playing this game over every platform that I have played it on. I fucking fell in love with it ever since it came out on day one uh i just got lost in it and it helped me out through some hard times too because it's a game that you uh you definitely spend a lot of time and a lot of hours into um and still to this day if i'm ever feeling like i don't know what i want to play or i don't know what to play i still have skyrim loaded in my pc i just boot it up and i just go and just kill whatever i can find random people or whatever and face off dragons kill them in two shots and i still fucking enjoy it i just really 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 love this game i i fell in love with it and i i just I, there, it doesn't get boring for me it just doesn't so elder scrolls right. 5 is uh that is it the good old skyrim still going strong till this day i know okay so it, it's my turn even though you took like half my fucking games um okay so yes i'm gonna just gonna, gonna throw it out there i agree 100 percent. witcher 3 is oh it, it's up there but it's not my number one i don't know i'm still deciding right now I, i'll decide later but okay, Witcher okay. 3 um what was another one that you said that was also on my list I don't last remember. of us <laughs> The Last of Us. Oh, that that game is so fucking scary, dude. Like, I was streaming the other, like, a couple months ago, and uh, my sister was watching me, and I, I legit had to, like, stop playing the game because I was so freaked out. Ugh, I hated it. So, good game. Loved it. Um, my sister says, Dead by Daylight and... Kingdom Hearts 3. 
which I was definitely looking forward to that one. I don't know why I just didn't finish it, but it, it is cute. It's just not what I remember of the older games, but I do think it's on my list just because of like fond memories I have playing the Kingdom Hearts games. Dead by Daylight is probably going to be not my number one um, just because I play it so fucking much and it's awesome to play with friends. Um, so that's definitely a great suggestion, um, Vanessa. I would say, uh, just to add to the list, though, um, I definitely enjoyed playing way back in the day, like, StarCraft II. I liked that one a lot. I still actually play StarCraft. Um, and Super Mario Galaxy, I enjoyed that one. I like the Mario Karts. I like uh, Super Smash Brothers, the new one, amazing. Um, and then also I wanted to throw in there the Batman, the Batman games, not to be biased or anything, <clears throat> because, you know, <laughs> I love Batman, but to be honest with you, like those movies, or I keep saying movies, those games are amazing. There's so much fun to play. The Batman games feel, I feel like I'm Batman. Like I just, it's amazing just for him to be able to like grapple onto buildings and use his sonar and just being able to experience Batman and be a badass and drive in the fucking Batmobile. It's so awesome. I, I recommend if you've never played a Batman game, fucking buy it. You won't regret it. I love it. Love it. Um, what else? Uh, so yeah, I think that's pretty much what I've got, but my, I don't know what my number one is. I'm just going to default to dead by daylight just because I play it every fucking day. And it's fun. Oh, Overwatch. I love Overwatch. I, I play it. I don't play it as much. I actually just picked it up, uh, started playing it again. Um, I thought that deserved an honorable mention because it's just so cute. And I was just telling my friend this a minute ago before the podcast, like all these games are, they're looking so realistic, you know, they're, they're super detailed and amazing high def, you know, details and all that kind of stuff. So when you play something like, uh, Dota, not Dota, Jesus Christ. What's the other game that you, Hollow Knight or, oh, Hollow you know, Knight. Overwatch. It's just a really nice, refreshing vibe to get off of that just different kind of animation style. Mm -hmm. So um, I enjoy that about Overwatch and it's fun and it's cute and it's just a quick little thing. You can jump in and out if you don't have a whole lot of time to invest in a game and I love it. Um, what else? What else? We already talked about Witcher 3. Oh, I'm going to give an honorable mention to Mortal Kombat 11, which I just got for Christmas. Woo! Amazing, amazing game. It's so good. <laughs> it is so good. I love it. And it's so I good. I haven't played in a while. So when I picked it up, I was like getting my ass kicked for a while there. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, it's so much fun. And I find myself playing with, uh, I find myself playing with Scorpion a lot in that game. I really enjoy okay. him a lot. Uh and Jade, she's pretty cool too. Um, Jade's but anyways, cool. yeah. So those are some of my games uh, that I picked for the decade. I definitely agree with most of your list. Uh, I, I think that we did a good job narrowing down what we playing, watching, and and kind of following as far as TV is concerned. But I'm glad that you guys kind of agree with what we do and what we're doing here because it, it's it's awesome to start off the decade. Start off a, an episode with a new season about our previous experiences with gaming and movies and all that kind of stuff because that's what we're here for. That's what we're all about, right? Yes, so. exactly, exactly. Uh, let's see here. Phil said, Cora's brother says Dead Space. Dude, Dead Space came out in 2008. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong decade. No, but we'll let it slide. No, Dead Space, De if you've it. never played, let me just say this, okay? If you've never played Dead Space, this is how you play this game, okay? You turn off all the lights, you put on headphones, and you make sure that you have not drinking anything within the last three hours. And that, that is how you play this game. Because, I kid you not, this is still the scariest game I have played ever. Ever. Why I, the fuck I, would you play it in the dark? Because that's that's how you, it's meant to be played. It's literally, Ooh, if you scary. look at reviews, if you look at reviews, the most negative reviews this game got is that people could not finish it because it was too scary. 
literally if you look at the reviews and then people were afraid of that even the developers were like shit which is why they toned down the second one which eh, you know the second one was good but it definitely didn't have that eerie feeling like the first one did the second one was more like actiony type uh but dead space definitely do yourself a favor it is it is one of the greatest horror games ever made like so so good all right <laughs> So I would I would highly, highly recommend it. Okay, okay. So we said, you know, the games of the decades, movies of the decades, TV shows, anime of the decades, and stuff like that. So I want to ask you a question, and then you can ask me it too uh, as we go on. So we're going on to our new decade, right? The next decade, what we're going to see, what we're going to go through, what have you, and stuff like that. Out of all of these topics, okay, out of all of these topics that we talked about, um, or maybe even something that we didn't talk about. Uh, what are you hoping for most for this decade? Anything could be anything. You could pick a movie that hasn't come out in like a bazillion years that you want to come out. A TV, a brand new TV show. You could, you know, do the pilot right now if you want to. An anime that you've been wishing for, or maybe a sequel to an anime that hasn't come out in a while. A brand new video game. What What do you want out of this decade? Hmm. That is a good question. Uh, I would, I, fuck, dude. Like, that's a loaded question. It I is. It's a good, it's a, some thoughts. it's a, Phil, flying car. Flying car. <laughs> I'm going to Okay, okay. How about this? Um, I, I can't think of anything <laughs> that I look forward to on the spot like that for like a movie or a video game. However, I will say that a goal of mine in the next decade, I would like to make enough money just so I can make myself a, and I told my family this over the New Year's, I think, I just want to have enough money to customize my own fucking personal, like, tailored to my body type stormtrooper suit. Like, I want an authentic, like, legit head-to-toe stormtrooper suit. Solid. Solid. Okay. And those are not cheap. Right? No. No, yeah, no, I want a legit one. Like, if somebody fucking shot me, it would protect me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you have watched the movies, right? And you do see that they get shot full body armor and they die. <laughs> and they so, die. <laughs> so, I mean, you're... Yeah, the helmet has to have the voice changer, too. Like, I want to walk around and have the Stormtrooper voice. Oh, okay. All right, all right. That's a... Uh... And short. So it's cute. It's it's awesome because, like, you know, the joke. Aren't you a little short to be a stormtrooper? <laughs> <laughs> there Get you it? go. Okay. Okay. I don't know. I, uh, I'll keep thinking, though. So what about you? What are you looking forward to in the next decade? <sighs> All right. So for the next decade for gaming, it has to be the next Elder Scrolls. I want the next Elder Scrolls. It will happen. But I'm afraid it's going to happen at the end of the decade. And I want it to at least happen in the middle. Like, at least 2025. Like, can can the next Elder Scrolls please come out at least by 2025? Like, that would be great. If it comes out by, like, 2029 or 2030, I'm fucked. I've just... <laughs> I'm screwed by then. I, I, it, You know, I don't know how it's going to be in a decade. I know I'll still be playing games, but I don't know how much. I mean, I see myself right now just kind of like trying hardcore to find time to play games. So I don't know how it will be a decade from now. So I would really love it if the next Elder Scrolls will come on. Um, as far as as far as far um, movies go... Um, I just had an idea before oh, I forget. Okay, go ahead. I just had an idea. Okay, so wouldn't it be cool... If, like, I'll tell you, there's not really a whole lot of great, like, video game movies. So what I want out of this decade is just more badass, like, video game movies. Like, what if they made a Mortal Kombat re like A good one. They are making one. But a, but a good one, though. It's gonna be good. It's gonna okay. be good. Because right. they, they got everything, good. they got everything right. They got, they got the R rating... They got uh, a solid, solid fucking cast, which is very big for Mortal Kombat because uh, there's so much depth in the characters. And they have uh, writing and music by people who uh, are going to make it, are going to make it. It's going to be epic. I know it's going to be epic. Vanessa's uh, got all kinds of ideas, too. She said, 
cross-platforming for Dead by Daylight so we can play, because she actually has it on PlayStation and Switch, but we can't play because I have it on PC. You know Nerd. What? For this, this, for this decade, fucking cross-platform everything. Like, maybe a few, like, exclusive games on console, but, like, for the most part, cross-platforming in general. Please, for the fuck's sakes. Like, everybody should be able to play with everybody. I mean, th there's I'm just there. an easier solution to that. Everyone should just buy a PC. So, I mean... <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm sorry, Vanessa, but, I mean... <laughs> I mean, it's a PC. Like, uh, I think, I think maybe ten years ago, you can make that argument. You could say that because consoles back then were consoles on very are, high demand. But console consoles are not in high demand anymore. They're really not. And the reason is, is because PC gaming is just better. <laughs> I mean, everybody's finally getting it. Yeah, they're they're just finally getting it. I mean, so anyways, I didn't mean to cut you off. So it's all good. Continue. It's all, all right, good. Because I knew that if I didn't say it right then and there, I would forget. So uh, True. yeah, so that would be something else I look forward to. Stranger Things video game. Oh, that sounds interesting. I'd play that. Fuck it. Why not? There you go. Uh, so so what about you? You said That's what a... you were looking forward to video game wise. What about right. the movies? What, so what for movie you? for <laughs> me, like. This is a stretch. This is a huge stretch because I don't think it'll ever happen, especially in this decade. But for me, like, I would just love, like, absolutely love to see a Legend of Zelda movie. Like, Ooh. a legit Legend of Zelda. It does not have to be live action. I'm totally yeah, fine with, it, yeah. with it being animated because I know it can look absolutely beautiful. There have already been so many uh, fan-made um, uh, Zelda uh, you know, short films and stuff like that on YouTube that I've watched over and over and over again of animation and real life. I'm just like, I would love for it to happen, but I just don't think Nintendo will, will, will do it. I, I just don't think that so. That goes into the whole thing with me, like video game movies. Like I just want to see yeah. some really good video game movies. True, know, like... true, true, true. Okay, TV so, shows, I'm not... I don't really watch TV that much to really care. I'm more of an anime person. I mean, I had literally three times more anime stuff on my list <laughs> and I did TV shows. So that just shows you how little TV I actually watch. Um, mm -hmm. But um, anime wise, anime wise, um, I would love to see um, another season of One Punch Man. I would love for them to continue Overlord. Um, oh, I know another one that I that I have on here that I didn't mention. Uh, Goblin Slayer. Oh my God, Goblin Slayer is so fucking good. And the next season is coming out this year, and it's so dark. It's so dark and bloody and stuff like that. Um, but you definitely you have to be a little bit mature if you watch the show. Um, I would like a new Sword Art Online. Well, I guess it's out for me. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I would like a new Sword Art Online, but I want them to go back to the original roots. I feel like the last two seasons of Sword Art Online I've watched, they tried to make it so new that it doesn't feel like Sword Art Online. Maybe it's me. Well, I, but... I don't mind it. Are you talking about, like... The most recent one that came out. No, no, no. Okay. The all, all the cessation. That, that it was just... It just didn't feel like oh, Sword Art Online. Okay. What? No, but I, I enjoy that they go and try different video games because it's a headgear that submerges you into a virtual reality world. And if you play a different game, it's going to be a different video game world. So if it's always the same Sword Art Online, you know, I don't know. Like, I, I kind of like that they do different in each season. I think that's cool. Okay. All right. So. Yeah. So, all right. Surprise. We Surprise. Disagree again. Like, yes, we 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 do. we disagree again. But uh, a Halo movie, Phil. Well, aren't they making a Halo movie, or is it a TV series? I know they're I doing. A TV series. I think it is a TV series. So Halo, yeah, Halo would be good. I don't know. I just feel like, well, let's just get the next Halo game first, and then we'll see, and I mean, then we'll see. Okay. All right, yeah, 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 that's fair enough. Yeah, okay. yeah, and then we'll, and then we'll see. So, all right, anything else that you want to uh, say or mention before we uh, wrap up uh, our first episode of the year? No, I think that'll do it. I, I just wanted to say that I missed doing this. I missed doing our podcast and talking with you guys. Listening. Um, and it just feels good to be back, you know, yes. get our bearings, get our footing back on the, on the air and all that kind of stuff. So, um no, that's just about it for me. 
Excellent. All right. Well, I want to thank everyone for listening to yet a, another episode of the Geek Out podcast. Uh, remember, you can uh, watch us live as you are right now. Uh, we are looking into doing actual live podcasts. Um, give us some time for it. I know a lot of people, in particular Sharon, always request that. So we're gonna we're gonna definitely <laughs> do more. Uh, check us out on YouTube and uh, for our podcast listeners. As always, we are on Anchor, Spotify, iTunes, uh, iHeartRadio, and more. I am Spaniard, also known as Eddie. And I am... <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's, that I will never pizza, change. No pizza. Jesus. I'm known as pizza. It's the first episode of the season, and I have freaking... You fucked it up. Yep. I know. I'm sorry, guys. Anyways, thank you so much for joining us. I hope you guys had as much fun as we did. And don't forget to... Geek out! <laughs> feels good man really that's what your new year's resolution should have been don't fuck up the intro slash ending to the fucking podcast but would it be geek out if i just was perfect all the time i mean yes it would be because we (laughs) were perfect for so long this is true and, true. and and then and then it got got crazy